Ah, oh, sweet, the new Evil Dead Rise trailer finally came out. It's gonna suck that they're gonna have to cut this down for audiences, since I'm sure most of them can't handle it. I mean, it is the first trailer. There's no way they would show that much- OH MY GOD! One overused joke out of the way, and we're rolling. Hi everyone, my name is c 3 Awesome, and yes, Evil Dead Rise just got its very first trailer, and yeah, I'm floored. I'm for it. This looks really, really good. I'm really excited for it. I love the shot composition. In particular, I really like the shot where the mother was cooking the eggs and you could see the eggs on the pan, each one getting somewhat bloodier. And then you get that amazing shot of her eyes being tracked by the camera while in the background, off screen almost, you can kind of see the kids. I love shots like that. That feels like a Sam Raimi shot. It's weird, but it gives a lot of good perspective. The 2013 movie, and yeah, I know a lot of people like the 2013 movie, I wasn't one of them, it didn't really have shots like that. It didn't have dynamic shots like I've seen in this trailer, and that already gives me a lot of hope for the movie. But, and yeah, there is a but. You've seen the title of this YouTube video. There is a but there. So, what's up? What do I not like about it? Well, it's very simple. I've been saying this for a while in my other videos. Go check them out if you want to. But, yeah... The funny. Where's the funny? I've said this in my past YouTube videos, but Evil Dead works best where it's a mixture of three important things. Horror, action, and comedy. Evil Dead 2013 is a good horror movie. I'm gonna get that out of the way first. It's really scary, and I'm glad a lot of people like that. But it's not a good Evil Dead movie. It's missing a lot of the funny, and it's missing a lot of action. And I know what you're all saying, but 3 po you may say. Evil Dead was always meant to be a horror series. It wasn't meant to be funny at its birth. And yeah, it wasn't meant to be funny at its birth, but it was unintentionally funny. The first Evil Dead had really inexperienced actors. They came off kind of quirky, and it wasn't perfect, but it was still kind of funny. You know what I mean? Throughout time, Evil Dead leaned more into that concept, instead making it on purpose, and then making the second movie, which many people consider to be the best out of every Evil Dead movie that has ever come out. When people look at Evil Dead Rise, I'm sure they're gonna think of the 2013 movie, cause there's an overabundance of gore, and the mother's eyes are yellow, just like the Deadites in 2013. And this shot looks really similar to 2013. Hey, hey wait, wait a, a minute. minute. Yeah, so now that we get a better look at the movie, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say this is totally meant to be a sequel to Evil Dead 2013. And honestly, I'm okay with that. Because you know what? A lot of people like Evil Dead 2013. Just because it's not my cup of tea doesn't mean it's going to be somebody else's. I know the director says that he wants to expand the Evil Dead universe, and dear lord, let him. I am so excited to see more of the Evil Dead universe in different sections of it since it seems like for so long we've only gotten Ash's perspective and let's be honest, Ash isn't a very reliable narrator most of the time. There are a lot of theories that he botches up multiple parts of the story considering there are a lot of retcons. Honestly, I'm excited to see what kinds of new things we're going to see in these future movies. I mean, like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of 2013, but there was one thing I loved more than all parts of it. The characters. Mia, David, and Eric specifically were really well written, and I really liked their arcs that they had throughout the movie. And if we can get more solid characters like that in Evil Dead Rise, which seemingly looks like it, then yeah, totally, sign me up. Even if there isn't any funny, I'll still totally go into all of this with a happy smile on my face. It also seems like I'm finally getting my wish in another Evil Dead villain, which might not suck? I've been saying this maybe not in my YouTube videos, but in other sections of the internet. Yeah, Evil Dead villains kinda suck. Ball just included, but you know, we never got to see Ball again after season 2, so yeah, Evil Dead villains just kinda sit there for most of the movie. If the mother actually acts as an active antagonist in the film, then maybe she could be the really good first Evil Dead villain. Cause like, Ball was fine, but we barely got to see him in season 2. I know that technically he's still alive, just trapped, but it is very unlikely we're ever gonna see him again. Which, again, is a shame. I liked Ball. But adding another good antagonist to that list would be kinda cool. And yeah, that's all my thoughts on the Evil Dead Rise trailer. I figured a breakdown would be kinda useless since there's not much to break down. There's no real plot we can discern from this other than escape the evil Deadite Mother, so there seemed to be no point in doing that. 
But yeah, that's basically everything I have to say. I hope you guys will go and comment what you think of it below. And yeah, make sure to go and check out my other Evil Dead videos. I'm a mostly Evil Dead channel with some gaming sprinkled in that I think I'm going to start moving away from. But yeah, I'm glad you all enjoyed if you've stuck through this long. So make sure you subscribe if you want to. Go and check out the trailer down below. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye.